Former Tallahassee mayor and former gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum was reportedly involved in an incident involving methamphetamine early today. According to a Miami Beach police report, officers responded to a hotel room in reference to a man in cardiac arrest. When they arrived, fire and rescue was providing treatment to a man for a possible drug overdose. That man was taken to a hospital. <laughs> Lorenzo Tomas here for Random Radio. Random Radio things you need to know. It is the coronavirus quarantine edition. That's, that's what I feel like. My polo, my polo sweater robe. That's how I feel. Anyway, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that you always know we got brand new content so you won't be in the dark on anything. Let's jump on into this. Over the weekend, African-American uh, gubernatorial hopeful, African-American mayor of Tallahassee, and African-American contributor for CNN, Andrew Gilliam, had this happen. And now at five, former gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum is responding to an incident involving crystal meth on Miami Beach overnight. Miami Beach police say he was inside a hotel room along 1100 West Avenue where a man was treated for a possible drug overdose. That man was taken to a hospital. When officers went to speak to Mr. Gillum, they say he was unable to communicate because he was so out of it. In the police report, three bags of crystal meth were found on the bed and floor of the hotel room. Police did allow Gillum to return home. No one was arrested. Gillum has released a statement in reads in part, I was in Miami last night for a wedding celebration when first responders were called to assist one of my friends. While I had too much to drink, I want to be clear that I have never used methamphetamines. I apologize to the people of Florida for the distraction this has caused our movement. He went on to say he's going to spend the next few weeks with his family and appreciates the privacy at this time. Apparently the former gubernatorial, the governor, the former, I'm sorry, candidate for governor of Florida was caught in the room with men, men, men piece, men, men, men parts all around and drugs. According to the Daily Mail, which is a very, very liberal um, <laughs> news publication, but uh, the man found, apparently Andrew Gilliam was the, there was a wellness check done on the hotel attendants of a certain particular room. When the police came to do the wellness check on the room, they found Mr. Andrew Gilliam, a married father of three, who was in the bathroom throwing up. He was obviously too inebriated to speak when cops arrived to the Mondrian Hotel in Miami's South Beach Party District. Um, they also found a man named Travis Dyson, this man right here, 30-year-old male escort. He had been, he had, he had overdosed on crystal meth, and as there was meth on the table also. Uh, they found another man, third man was present, Aldo Majeus, he was 56. He told officers that Gilliam and Dyson had been under the influence of an unknown substance. Gilliam stated that in the report, in an in Instagram post, that he had been drinking because earlier he was at a at a wedding. Um, if he was at a wedding, what was his wife? What was his wife at? Where, where was his wife if he was at a wedding? And Andrew Gilliam, how did you end up hanging out with Travis Dyson, this guy here, who is a male escort? Many of you may not know this, but he's not only a male escort, he's a homosexual male escort, and he likes to post pictures of himself and renting himself out on the site called Rent.Men. It's a website for homosexual men to meet other men who want to have them for work. Well, you know, I guess, what do they do? Andrew Gilliam, as you see here with his wife, she's not bad, she's got a cute little face, she's chocolate. I like her. Uh, he is 40 years old, former mayor of Tallahassee, currently a CNN contributor. Uh, was seen vomiting in the bathroom and required a wellness check to see if he was okay. That was done, and then they found all of this. Gilliam denies that he was taking any drugs, and he apologizes for his behavior. Uh, it was announced today that the man found in Gilliam's room, Mr. Travis Dyson, 
you see here, he is a, a porn star performer, also in the homosexual community. So, what have we learned here? Well, we've learned that Andrew Gilliam likes to hang out in hotel rooms with male escorts who do crystal meth. Andrew Gilliam himself may not have done any crystal meth. He may be totally exonerated of that. He may not, he may not even be gay. He may just have some gay homies. Maybe that's just how he rolls. Maybe Andrew Gilliam just got gay homies. Maybe he hangs out with men who are male escorts, who are in South Beach, who are known, known see, from his pictures. He's clearly not faking the funk about his homosexuality. Maybe that's just what Andrew Gilliam does. I mean, hey, look, who are we to catch, cast the first stone and say Andrew Gilliam is a homosexual or that Andrew Gilliam is a drug user because he was in a hotel room with two men who are homosexuals, who were doing drugs, and he was in the bathroom throwing up because he had, and he said he had been drinking. The police let Andrew Gilliam go, which I find interesting because I'm trying to figure out who took Andrew Gilliam home. He was too drunk to drive. According to the police, he was too inebriated to talk, so he obviously was too drunk to drive, but they let him go home. So he went home, and he said that, you know, hey, he was just hanging out with the guys, you know. Still, we don't know what his connection is to Mr. Travis Dyson. We also don't know who Mr. Aldo Majez or Mejias is. Uh, we'll find out more as this story goes along, but tell me, what do you think? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Andrew Gilliam is faking the funk? Do you think he's in the closet? Do you think that Andrew Gilliam needs to just come on out the closet and just let it, and he just needs to go ahead and just say it? I'm a man who likes to hang out with the boys and I like to do drugs. Maybe he should say that. Or do you think that Andrew Gilliam is not in the closet? This is a big misunderstanding. It will all be cleared up very soon. As soon as Andrew Gilliam had to tell us what he was doing. In a hotel room, which is known for this behavior, by the way, which is known for questionable homosexual behavior. Hey, saying, because in a hotel in Miami, it's known for questionable be homosexual behavior, male escort behavior. He's there with a known male escort, a homosexual male escort, and another man, only men in this room, no women. And he's in the bathroom throwing up. Crystal meth on the table. Oh, man. Mm, Mr. Travis, uh, whatever his name is, Porter, whatever the hell his name is, I don't know. He's overdosed. And here we are. You guys, leave some messages in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, you know, hey, just telling you guys the facts. You put it together and tell me what you think. All right. And this is something that you probably didn't need to know, but you now know. There you go. Random Radio. Yeah, boy. You are listening to Random Radio.